Hello guys, hope you are doing well. Last time I posted a video of myself playing this Ghanaian gospel song, I need some Kesi, on TikTok. So after I posted a video, I've had so many people ask to break down the song. And in this video, I'll be showing you how I played it, step by step. What I want you to know is that this video is not for an absolute beginner. So if you are an absolute beginner, know that you are not going to benefit that much okay before we dive in i want to play the full song for you to have a fair idea of how the song is So the song is in the key of F, so we start off with the melody. So after playing, I choose to play this way. After playing that one, you move on to four, the fourth chord on your right and you play the second note on your left. Then you, you play one on your right and one on your left, five on your right, seven on your left. So in all it will be like this. Okay, then we move to the next one. So after playing this this melody, you play one on your right, one on your right, and three on your left. Then, then five on your right, and two on your left. You play one on your right and four on your left so in all it will be like this okay let me start again with the melody This time round, we play four on, on, on our right and two on our left. Then one on our right, three on our left. And we play two, two which is, which is known as Ray, but we have inverted it so instead of this we play this then we play one then we play four on our left so in all it will be like this then we move to the next step please look at this one on our right, we play this chord. Check this out. We play this chord. The B diminished chord. So 
it will be like this so let's start from the beginning and play up to that point right we play so this, this is a passing chord a passing chord to the five you check this just out so on the on the fifth chord on our, on our right we play we play the e the tritone of e on our left hand and then we play the five on our right hand right so it will be like this then we move we move to we move to a flat a flat the a flat is a passing chord to 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 g a passing chord from a flat to g which is serving as our second chord which is known as so after using the a flat as a passing chord to the to the to the ray on our left hand we play we will play try tone of f play our fifth chord our fifth chord on our right and on our left hand we play the tritone of E so in, in all it will be like this Okay, so let's start from the top to this point, and we continue. right okay so we are moving on so we play our c score which is la on our right then we play the same six notes on our left So six, then we move to five, then we move to four, we move to one on our right and three on our left. So six on our right, six on our left, five on our right, five on our left, four on our right, four on our left, one one on our right then three on our left so it should be like this then we move to four four on our right two on our left one on our right one 
on our left. So with this chord, this chord is known as Thor. We usually call this chord Thor. So right, this chord this chord is known as Thor. So after moving from six down. So when we drop on the tall, we move to tall again. Okay. We move to tall, then we play the inversions of tall. But this time around, we are bringing it down. So it is like another inversion, another inversion. So we play the same thing on our right, on our left. Right. And we play. We play this chord. this chord on our right and six on our left right okay after this chord we move to to this chord this chord is a minor a minor six a minor six so the movement is like this so on our right hand it is like this so we play this movement on our right hand then on our left hand we play we start from six then we move to one six to six to two rather so it will be like this so let's let's move again so it will be like this then we move back Again. So I'm playing all again. Sorry. All right. Thank you for watching this video.